it's me, Dama, and today I'm going to be showing you guys another DIY, and obviously it's another dress, because you guys know I love dresses. So um, it's a really nice halter top, it's this one right here, and guys, this is super, super easy to do, and it looks like you actually went to the store and bought it. You can take the further step of hemming it. I actually do not like hemming, and I think I like the ragged look better, and if you happen to do a nice makeup look and your hair no one will care about the hemming so i think it turned out awesome so make sure to keep on watching to know how to do it step by step hey everyone so first you guys need to make some quick measurements and i always um show you guys like in written format like in notebooks and i have mine right here and you have to do two measurements the first one is how long you want it, and when you measure how long you want it, you don't measure it from right here. You measure it from like right here, down to your ankle. So just make sure to um, measure it like so with a measuring tape. This is the one I use. You can get these like at Michaels, at Walmart, Target, they sell these everywhere. So that is the first measurement you guys need to do. And then the second one is the largest area of your body, whatever it happens to be. Mine happens to be my hips. And when you measure your hips, you measure all around your hips. Let me show you. So you put them, so this is what you pretty much do. You put it all around. And mine is 37 inches. And I'm gonna add at least a couple more inches and I'm gonna make it 41. And this is how loose it's going to be on my body. So this is how I'm gonna want it because I really don't want it as tight as other dresses. It's gonna be a maxi dress, so I want it nice and flowy. So those are the two main measurements that you guys need to do. I was just kidding, you actually need to make another measurement. You need to measure the armhole, where it's going to be located. For example, I'm gonna measure it, let me see if this is correct, from here to right about maybe like right here, because it's gonna be in an angle. Let's try to make it 10 inches. So measure it in an angle, because we're gonna be cutting this in an angle, it's not gonna be straight. So about 10 inches. And then if I need to cut it more, I'll just cut it more. So it'll be 10 inches. And my length, length is going to be 58 inches, and the circumference of my hips are what was it? 40 inches in total because I want it kind of loose. So if you happen to be a size small, maybe this, um, you can use this sizing if you'd like. Of course, some fabric and a sewing machine. You can do it by hand, but it's kind of tedious if you do it by hand. So this is my piece of fabric and it's folded in half. And the folding is right on this side. And remember, folded in half, I had about 41 inches. So just from here to here, it's 21 and a half. So just make sure to measure 21 and a half, 20 and a half from here to here. And in length, I did 59 inches. So from here to here, 59 inches. And the next step, since this is actually open, we're gonna be closing it like so, right along here and sewing it straight across. So this is how it looks once I've sewn the side of the dress, and the entire side, just like so. And I'm going to flip it over. And what we just sewed is actually going to be the back portion of the dress. So I'm going to be placing it with the back towards the bottom. And now we're going to be working on the top portion of the dress. And now the next step is to fold it. And I'm going to be folding it just like so. And the folding is right here. And then the measurement that we did for the armhole minus 10 inches I'm also going to angle it and now I'm going to be marking it a line straight across now I'm going to be cutting it then I'm going to unfold it just like so so the next step is to fold this just like so going to be making a straight line right across here and remember it has to be enough air enough space so you put in a extra piece of 
either um, string or something because that's going to be going on our neck. So make sure to fold it. And so we line straight across. Now we're going to be doing the same thing to this side. So we're just going to be folding it. And then we're going to be sewing a line straight across. Next step is to sew along these areas. You're going to be folding it like so and sewing it. So we pretty much have a tunnel right here along so. And make sure you have enough space to put in a piece of fabric that's pretty much going to go around our neck. So it's going to be about maybe an inch. And then you're just going to sew it. And you're going to be doing the same thing on this side. You're going to flip it and fold it. And you're going to sew a line straight across. And remember, enough space so we can put a thin piece of fabric through in here. So we tie it around our neck. So this is how it looks once I've sewn the top portion. And as you can see, it looks like so, the stitching on the outside. And this is what it looks from the inside. So this is the front portion. You see, you're, we're going to be putting in the fabric towards the middle of this little tunnel. And this is how the inside looks. So the next step is to figure out what fabric we're going to put in the middle of this. And you can just do something like this and cut it out. I'm actually going to be doing a little braid. And first, I'm going to stretch it out. And then you're going to be making a little loop. Just like so. Making a braid. If you, know, if you don't know how to do a braid with loops, it's super easy. You just do a loop and put the fabric inside that loop and you have another loop so you grab this fabric and put it inside and you just keep doing that so you have another loop put that fabric inside so I've done my little braid and I'm actually going to put it through the little hole and I have this little hook thing that I hope fits yeah it is through the little tunnel that we just did so this is how it looks now that I've put the little braid inside the little tunnels and you can just wrap it and do a bow and you can even do another braid for the waist of the dress but this is pretty much all you have to do and I think it's a super easy halter dress to make and especially now for the summer that's super super hot and make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you happen to like this video and want to see more sewing videos. super airy and flowy you can even throw on a belt if you want to accentuate your waist and um, I always try to make my videos especially my sewing videos super easy so anyone can do them you almost all the time need a sewing machine but you can also do it by hand but it's super tedious and my sewing machine is super affordable I bought it at Walmart I think it varied between I think it was like 120 it was super affordable and it took me a while to buy my sewing machine because I didn't want to buy a sewing machine that didn't last me because I had purchased one 
think it was a brother it was one of those cheap sewing machines and it did not last me it kind of made the sound like in a week and I was like you know what like no I have to return it and I bought this one that I have right now and I actually did some research and it's super affordable and in the long run it's gonna last me way more and it's actually more like heavy duty if you happen to sew uh, more so I actually do recommend my sewing machine I'll be linking it down below um, the link the Walmart link that I bought it in because you guys ask me all the time and um, what else do you guys have any video requests make sure to comment them down below and subscribe if you haven't already make sure to check me out on all my social media and check out my blog Dama Vi Lola for more pictures I'll be posting an outfit of the day with this dress and as always, I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.